Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some more Pioneer Slivers, and uh, we won the die roll, so we will play first. Ah, oh, that's a lot of mana swefts, but uh, you know, there's enough going on where I feel like we can keep this. We got some Sentinels action going on, so like a nice collected company or something would be um, pretty good here. Let's go Overgrown, no we're not going to pay, pass to them. I realized uh, I just got done recording Monday's video. And I had Naya slivers up the whole time. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Alright, Sacred Foundry. Uh, okay, we're just going to put down Metallic. And start getting everybody some counters. We'll put down Mana Swift next turn. And be able to go Mana Swift into Sentinel. And then we just got to look for a bit more help as far as like some pressure agonizer remorse you choose a non-land card from it okay sure take my sentinel best bet yep no big deal immortal sun you don't say you don't say um <laughs> Do I want to get in for damage? Or do I want to just play out my creatures? I think I just want to play out my creatures. So that's what we will do. Get a board established. Can't go wrong. Next turn we can go Immortal Sun. That should be pretty good. I actually haven't got to cast Immortal Sun yet. This is going to be gnarly. Can activate loyalty abilities. Draw uh, at the beginning of your draw step. Draw an additional card. Spells you cost cost one. And creatures you control. That's pretty insane. All right. As long as there are four more, gets plus three. Discard a card. Exile the top two. Then you choose one of them. You play that card this turn. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Uh, but this immortal sun's gonna be gnarly. And we can we get another mana swift. That's funny. Uh, let's see here. Can I really attack in? Mm. Can I, if I pay the two here, can I get out? I can. All right, so we're going to do that. Because everything will cost cheaper. Boom. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Immortal Sun. That is a wonderful turn we have there. Tapped out and everything. Now we can start going. Opting for the answer. I like it. Opt away. Oh, it's the new Zendikar Rising one. What's on the other side of this? That's what I want to know. Will it show me? Ah, okay, so blue or black. Deal two damage to any target. And destroy R. Oh, that is so rough, man. That is so rough. That is a really good Gull Gulligan's command. Holy cow, that's a good one. Dang. Well, you want to attack in? See, just, he always gets four. Okay, so he's gonna always get in here. But he's getting in for damage. I mean, that's fine. I'll get in for six. Potentially more if we draw, like, a lord or something. Ah, oh, that was a really good Gulligan's command. Ooh, that's nasty, though. I will take that. give you some good damage now you're gonna go on the defense a little bit I think I don't think I would have attacked in there against this board I mean you're, you're hitting me for four but I'm hitting back for six and we could draw into something nasty which is what we did so now unless they kill our leeching here uh, we're gonna be hitting them for four I mean we have lethal presented they need some more blockers or they need to kill our leeching
Drown the lock. All right, killing our leeching. Interesting deck. Interesting. Definitely bring in our Shaper Sanctuary. We can hit this with Fatal Push. And a Gurmog. All right, they survive another day. Unless we get another leeching off the top. And even then, we're not necessarily guaranteed. They are holding up a little bit. Oh, that's not what I want to see. I'm just going to pass with that in hand. See what they can do from here. Three cards in hand. Going to four. Oh, but now he's weaker. That's right, because they just delved for Gurmog. Okay, okay. Some good plays going on this game. I like it. We did not get to see the full potential of Immortal Sun, though. All right, what are you? Seagate Stormcaller, another Zendikar card. Enters battlefield, copy the next, insert sorcery with converted mana cost two or less. If it was kicked, you copy it twice. I feel like our creatures are going to die. <laughs> they're going to do something, they're going to copy it and kill two of our mana swifts. Which, out of all our creatures, not the worst ones to lose, but still not good. Uh, let's see. Exile, target card, gain three lice. Okay, so they're just going to... If it was a creature card. Okay, so they'll gain three life. They'll gain six life, and they'll draw a card for one of these. And they can escape this. Okay. Super Graveyard Control. They control their own graveyard. They control ours. Bone Scythe. That's pretty gnarly. I can rock that. Now, let's see here. Double strike. Is it worth attacking in here? That's what I'm wondering. Yes, they can eat a mana swift, but we've got some to spare. It's not the worst thing in the world. And we can hit them for some damage, or they can ch just try to chump block with something. I, I think I'm okay swinging in here with this. I'm okay with losing one of the mana swifts. Keep the pressure on him a little bit. Okay, they are going to block with everything. They dump a Liliana. They grab a watery grave. Stormcaller dies. Channeler dies. Is that his name? Channeler, yep. Channeler dies. Gurmog sticks around for a little bit. Liliana. Let's see. Loses three life. Well, we can discard a card. They can kill our Bone Scythe. Not great. Really could use a collected company. That would be nice. Now I'm definitely going to hold Unclaimed in my hand just in case they want to uptick. That is beautiful. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Gale Rider and Metallic. So we want Metallic first. Then Gale. Sliver. Uh, we'll say any order for these. Keep that in hand. 
We will attack Liliana. We will attack them. And we're back in business a little bit. One card in hand. Lethal on board. What can you do? Close it out. Go to game two. All they really have to do here is uh, kill a Gale Rider. Probably not super hard for them to do. Dang, these Culligan, these Culligan commands have been brutal. Brutal. Brutal Culligans. Dang. All right. They're getting in. Interesting. You got another Gurmog in there? I guess not. I'm at nine. Oh, beautiful. Oh, we're getting the draws. Oh, Diffusion, Gale Rider. Um, I'm thinking maybe I go Gale Rider Siphon. We'll just get back some life a little bit. I got one card in hand. I mean, we're definitely grabbing Gale Rider. Diffusion Metallic. I think... Yeah, I'm going to go Siphon. Call me crazy. I don't know. What would you have guys have done? I was tempted by the uh, Diffusion, but... Gain four life here, and we'll hit them for four. Flying. Keep this in our hand again, just in case we grab another Liliana or something. Thoughtseize. Ooh, sorry. Not going to work out too great for you there. Thoughtseize to see my hand, and that will do it. Let's go to sideboard. All right. Fatal Push can kill a couple things. I think it's worth bringing in. Shapers, definitely. They got too many answers for Immortal Sun. Maybe we just cut, like, an Icon and a Mimic, since they can deal with it pretty well. With the Culligan's Command. Shapers, Fatal Pushes. Diffusion stays in, Gale Rider stays in. Leeching, Mana Swift. I want to keep in the Hive Lord. I think it'll still do good in this matchup. Players can't cast spells from the graveyards. I, we haven't seen them cast anything from the graveyards. Wish we had more interaction for the graveyard, though. I'm wondering if I need a pithing needle. I need to cut one thing. I'm just debating on if I should cut a metallic or an icon. I guess we cut I. I guess we cut nothing because we win the game. Uh, they don't want to. They don't want to see anymore. They don't want to see it. Um, let me know what you guys think. What would you have cut? An icon or a metallic mimic for game two? My thought was just with the Culligan's command, if they're just going to target all our artifacts and get a, a two for one, let's just reduce the artifacts a little bit. That would be my thought on it. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Maybe we just cut... What else could we cut here? Oh, I don't know striking maybe isn't super relevant I, I think i would still want to keep him in i think it came down to an icon or a, or a metallic which one would you guys have cut let me know in the comments below hopefully you enjoyed that one though a little quick one but it was still a good match and some good uh good plays in there and that culligan commands was so dirty i didn't get to see the full potential of immortal sun i finally got to play it though first time i was able to play it i had to reread the card because i usually cut it out right away and haven't been able to see it or see what it does <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe stay tuned for next week more pioneer slivers coming up leave a like leave a comment and we will see you guys in the next video